Hello, je m'appelle Yannick Cormier, okay. je suis français. Très bien. <rire> ok, I'm, uh, I'm a French uh, photographer based in Chennai for the last 11 years in Tamil Nadu. Uh, I'm born in Paris. Uh, I start photography as a professional maybe around 15 years ago. Uh, I work in the fashion industry as an assistant. And now I am a, I am a documentary photographer. And uh, sometimes I create shows and, and stuff like that. Uh, actually, I, I, I don't want to work in the fashion industry uh, photography. It's never interesting me. I, uh, I choose to work in this, uh, in, uh, in this uh, fashion industry only to, uh, uh, for the technique actually. I wanted to, to get the basic technique to have a strong uh, uh, technique base uh, to express uh, myself. And I think uh, uh, advertising uh, photography and fashion uh, photography is the most uh, technical point of photography. That's why I wanted to go into that to learn, to absorb all the basic techniques and after uh, to work on, on my own expression, to use this technique to don't, uh, to don't um, how I can say, uh, I'm not a technician person, but I wanted to know. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, when I get it, I vomit the techniques, just for the expression of photography. Because if you think technique, you will have a strong technical pictures, but no self-expression on that. That's why, but that's why you have to absorb, to put in your inconscious, and after you are only focused on your topics, on your subject, not on techniques. I don't think techniques. I don't care about the techniques at all. But I know what is techniques, that is in my inconscience. I use only when I need is come back. Uh, okay, I was uh, after the studio when I shift, uh, I quit the studio. Uh, I come with my portfolio to see several agencies uh, to find work, no? to, to get some work. And uh, Vostok Press take me on, uh, on his team. And, uh, yeah, I work uh, one or two years for them and uh, I do more uh, breaking news pictures or actuality pictures, protest, fight, uh, portraits for the, for the press, for uh, Le Monde or any kind of uh, assignment. And uh, in the beginning they wanted to send me in, uh, in, uh, in Brazil actually uh, as a correspondent. Uh, but uh, at that time, my wife uh, get a scholarship uh, to learn Bharatanatyam dance here in Chennai. And uh, I get sick, I have a physical trouble. I go to a, you know, an hospital for three months, I couldn't move. And uh, I see a movie, it's called uh, Ghost of India, I think. Ghost of India by Louis Mal. And uh, I was amazed about this movie. And uh, I didn't know anything about India. And when I see uh, uh, this movie, it changed really my mind. And, and I called my wife and I said, I, I will come with you. I will come, I will speak with my director of the agency when I will go out to the hospital. I will uh, make a file with all plan, what will happen. And at that time, the World Social Forum, there was the election in 2004. There's many things happened in India. And I give the file to my director and she said, OK, we are with you. Go in India and every week send us some pictures and and, uh, and follow the actuality of India. And he starts like that. But uh, when I arrived in India, uh, I fall in love very fast. <laughs> it was uh, I was feeling it's my home. And uh, and after this one year as a correspondent, I decide to stay. And I keep working for Vostok, but I was not really happy with. Uh, with their work and uh, I come to Paris for three months, work a little bit for them and after I speak with my director and say I shift, I will do my own things in India. And she understand and it starts like that. The, the, my journey, my adventure in India really starts like that.
It's a, it's a movie uh, of women, it's a documentary movie. There is a several uh, small movies of one hour. There is uh, one is in Calcutta in the 80s or 70s, I don't remember exactly. Uh, one is in Chennai, speaking about Bharatanatyam, culture of Tamil Nadu. And uh, I, uh, you know, I'm crazy about cinema from my childhood. And uh, I like the Asian world. The life in the street in general. You can see that in the cinema and I'm growing with that when I was in Paris. I'm growing with this image of Asia with full life in, in, in. And when I see this movie I see that. And when I find out uh, this this feeling from my childhood here, I, I was feeling it's home. It's, it's just that. It's a random thing but it changed my life. Nari Kurava's work or Kashmir? Or? All of them? All of them. Well, it's completely different. Uh, I, I come uh, in Kashmir uh, to have my own information because when I heard information about Kashmir in France or any, anywhere else, I was thinking uh, the, the tone, the, it was uh, more propaganda than really uh, journalism uh, work. There. That's why I decided to go there in Kashmir to see with my own eyes uh, what happened and out of propaganda what is uh, what happened what is the issue there and uh, when I arrived there uh, my feeling about propaganda in the newspaper in India or uh, AFP in France or all these these things was true. What they said it was not right. It was manipulation of the information. Uh, to say the, especially yeah, Kashmir. Uh, Twenty years back, there was a war. There was a militancy, uh, very powerful, and I understand the the conflict. Uh, it's happened with two big power and and one small area in the, in, the, in between. I understand that, but the propaganda today said. The, the, what happened 20 years back here is still like that and is not anymore like that. There is six lakhs of paramilitary soldiers, uh, um, CRPF and border police or army and uh, they are in a civilian area with weapons, heavy weapons and they are full power. They are, they, they, if uh, they kill someone or rape someone, nothing happened for them. Uh, they have too much right uh, and uh, and I think this is created trouble uh, this is the work of Kashmir and I wanted to show that how the people suffer from that uh, okay for Narikurava I work uh, these pictures with the young Narikurava I was coming back from uh, Kuvagam festival is a uh, is Aravani festival you know uh, Kuvagam is close to Vidupuram there is a Aravani festival, transgender festival, every year around uh, April, May, or something like that. I was with a Spanish friend, a photographer. He was in the car, and we find this young boy go out of the forest with his weapon. And uh, we, we stop the car and run after him and ask him for taking pictures. And I took these pictures. And uh, when I take the picture of, uh, of this young boy, uh, I feel a strong uh, dignity, like a, like a warrior, like a strong warrior, and at the same time, uh, an intuitive intelli intelligence. And I was amazed about that, and I start to think maybe I will document uh, the life of Marikurava. I want to to find. Uh, more about this feeling I have this first day I, I took these pictures and it was the it was the is the real topic of this of this work is uh, uh, is um, is this work speak about dignity actually, of human beings because you know uh, hundred years ago and more than that there was a there was under the law of the uh, tribal criminal act it was an English law and uh, this community was uh, born as a criminal. It means when you born, you are a criminal because just you born. It means if anything, something's happened, uh, if there is a murder, we go in the Kurava camps and catch anyone and is the, is the guy killed. 
without any uh, proper, uh, I don't know how to say, the uh, quest or something to find the real murder. They, they just catch random guy and said, is this guy? And uh, and this law they finish in 1952, I think. And but in the mind of the people, they are still like that. They stole, they, uh, they do bad things, they have bad habits, and uh, they are criminals. And in the mind of the people, inconsciously, is like that. And I think it's a big mistake. They have a strong culture, they, are, uh, they have a big oral culture, they are good in music, they have that, this in their blood, they are hunters. Actually, they come from, uh, I think, thousand years ago, they was come from Rajasthan, and they was Kshatriya. It was a warrior. Only when they come in Tamil Nadu and Kerala, they become untouchable, Dalits. And they was in the forest, they was hunter in the forest. And when the English came, said they don't, was not allowed to go in the forest. And they start to, uh, to sell uh, jewelry, stuff like that, make it that, and, uh, and uh, beg and uh, work in the dustbin, for, yeah, this kind of things. But for me, they are warriors, they are beautiful. And I wanted to show that. Um, as said Pablo yesterday, and I feel the same, uh, uh, tribal is, uh, this topic is very close to my heart. Uh, is the first flame of civilization, of knowledge about medicine, uh, construction, and these people, they are uh, still there in the primitive way, but, but the beginning of our civilization is from these people. Um, I wanted to speak about that, and there is a big politi political issue on them. There is a strong law to protect uh, uh, tribals in India. But with uh, the opening market, economic market now in 19, 1992 in India, the the mind of the um, of the Indian government changed. And they want to make big money, and uh, for that uh, they will sell their resource to big multinational. But where is the resource of India? Is in the tribal area? Is in the hills? Is on the river? When you put dam on the river when you create mine or to get uranium or bauxite or anything else. Uh, but this land is a tribal land. And you have to find a way to develop your country and in the same time I think to respect the culture of the people. Because why they will not be uh, why they will not have the same right as you or me? Why? That's the question. You want to develop your country, but at the same time you want to discriminate, uh, discriminate the, the, these people. You want to remove these people from their land. You want to, you know, that's that's what's happened here in India. And I think to to show what is their beauty, what is their culture, uh, is very important to show. That's it. Okay. That's how you. That's why I choose this this topic. And after I asked uh, several friends uh, to send uh, some work, I wanted to show the work in Sunni journal, uh, but uh, they don't give a response. Or Marcus leaders there also don't give a response. That's why I asked some friends. I know they have a work on tribal. I asked Pablo his work on the Nagas. And yeah, it's happened like that. Okay. After I create a part, is the part one with uh, Pablo, the part two with, uh, with Kishore here. My part is here, yeah, yeah. to create a, a long corridor, a visual corridor inside uh, this podcast.